Today I'm going to share with you the 11 things you must know about lead generation. Scott Olford here and I want to ensure that you are successful if you're marketing online. So the first thing is you must realize that every single idea is a good idea. The entire idea of online marketing is being able to test, 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 and being able to analyze that information and utilize it for your own unfair advantage. There's no right or wrong thing when it comes to online marketing. There's no wrong or right idea or concept. And a lot of the time, the things that you don't think work will work and the things you think will work won't. It's based upon your market, your demographic, who you're really talking to, your message, your audience, so many different things. So never discount something and also always remember that online marketing is about a series of failures that bring you to success. So inside of lead generation, there are buckets and awareness levels. Now, when it comes to the awareness levels, you may be familiar with my SSF method. It's about the sidewalk, slow lane, fast lane. Sidewalk is somebody that doesn't understand the pain or problem. The slow lane, someone that doesn't understand the process or methodology. And the fast lane, somebody that doesn't understand the solution. And the beauty is you have the ability to inform them and allow you and your company to magnetize them towards your solution, allowing you to actually impact and transform their life, relationship, or business. Further than that, we also have buckets. For example, there's people that have never used online marketing people that have used it not successfully, and those that are looking for the edge. That's for inside of my business. And inside of yours, you also have three or four buckets of people. Based upon these buckets and awareness levels, your messaging and the way that you actually target them, which content and what content you share with them will change. So when you're marketing, always be thinking about which bucket someone is in and which awareness level they are within as well. Number three, if you're not relevant, you are annoying. See, the thing is, is with so many signals and so much out there, when it comes to your customers or actually your potential customers, if you're not relevant, you're not specific about exactly how you help them, exactly how you bring them from their pain to their vision and filling that gap, your ability to be in front of them and have them paying attention is gonna be really difficult. So it's about being omnipresent to the right people and filtering out the wrong so that you're not annoying and so that you're always relevant inside of your marketing. Number four, funnel hacking, copying someone else isn't always gonna get you success. Thing is, you don't know their business model, you don't know their situation, you don't even know if they're actually making money. So it's best to be able to design experiences that allow someone to come from being a stranger to being an actual lead and allowing that lead to become a customer and finally a raving fan. So, Originality inside of your marketing is what really makes the most sense. You can get inspiration from other people, but it's up to you to create marketing and a marketing experience to allow someone to become your customer. Number five, we always hear in business, location, location, location. Well, when it comes to online marketing, it is targeting, targeting, targeting. But not just your Facebook advertising targeting. I'm talking about your advertising copy, the way that your sales pages look, the way, the way that your copy performs inside of your email marketing. Every single piece of your copy of every single piece of content that you have online is targeting the right perfect customers and clients for you. And if you're not thinking about this, if you're not consistent in the way that you show up online with the content that you have, your ability to attract your perfect, ideal, dream customers and clients so that you can help transform their life will be that much harder. And when it comes to Facebook ads, what most people don't know is that your targeting is in your ad copy. Number six, if you're not getting one to five return on investment at minimum, you're not gonna really be profitable. Now think about this for just for a minute. It costs a lot of money to actually run a business. If it's gonna cost, you know, a dollar to get two dollars, people look at that as being good. For me, I don't really believe in that. I believe that we need to get at least 5X for every dollar we're putting in. Ideally, $10 for every dollar we're putting in. Traditional advertising costs should only be about 10% of your actual revenue. Yet, we're all online here spending way too much money on lead acquisition. All because everyone is so concentrated on just lead generation and just getting that return on investment right away. 
If you're not doing this, your ability to have a sustainable business that's actually profiting you, it's gonna be really, really, really difficult. So expect more from yourself and expect more from your online marketing. Number seven, if you're not utilizing a waterfall effect inside of your lead generation, then your ability to generate profit is gonna be really difficult. Inside of the SSF method, if you don't know what that is, click above, we have sidewalkers, slow laners, and fast laners. And it's very important that not only are we relevant to those people, but we're nurturing those people. See, as people come into your marketing funnel that are in the sidewalk, the slow lane, the fast lane, they're automatically gonna go from one lane to the next as you inform them. When you allow somebody to understand what relevant pain is in their life, they go to then wondering what the solution is, or rather what the process and methodology is, which is of course the slow lane. Then once they know that you're the authority, you're the person they should be looking up to to be able to help them with that relevant pain, they transfer to the fast lane. So this means the leads that you're generating today are going to be able to actually generate you significant revenue a week from now, two weeks from now, six months from now, two years from now, allowing you to have a return on investment as an asset instead of just simply a cost. That means when you turn the Facebook ads off, the lead cost goes down and your ability to profit goes up. Number eight, it's about playing the long-term game. If you're expecting to get your return on investment right away, well, you know what? You may get a little bit of an ROI at the beginning, and really it's only about being able to break even at the beginning, or at least that's my personal philosophy. I believe that our biggest return on investment comes from being able to play the long game inside of our business. By being able to nurture relationships and allowing our potential customers to come to us, hunting us down and asking, what's it going to take for the ability to work with you? And that's a situation I want to be in. Because in order for us to create significant transformation in the lives of our clients and our customers, it takes commitment. And it takes commitment from them, not just financially, but emotionally. And when we have the ability to transform someone and have their true trust from being able to observe and see us and be able to consume our content, we have the greatest ability to get paid what we're worth, as well as create the largest amount of transformation in their life. Want to be a big fish? Well, number nine is about being a big fish in a small pond. See, inside of your online marketing, you don't have the money to be able to be the big fish in your entire niche. But you do have the ability to be top of mind and omnipresent to those people that are leads of yours. See, inside of your audience is about being top of mind, being always in front of them, sharing your content, sharing your value, and ensuring that they remember your name it's about being the Coca-Cola of your niche, about playing the game that companies and brands have played since there's been advertising on planet Earth. And the beautiful thing is, it costs so little that any entrepreneur, including you, can do it by allowing yourself to be the big fish in the tiny little pond. Number 10 is about pattern interrupting and getting someone's attention. See, attention is a new currency. If you capture attention, push it towards a relevant signal, you've already got someone's wallet. We live in an age where we are starved of our attention. We are starved of our ability to be present in moments. And if you're able to take your leads and ensure that they spend their present time thinking about you, if you have their attention, your ability to help them and get them to buy, the ability to get them to take out their credit card and trust you, hmm, it won't take much after that, will it? People always say that content is king. Well, if content is king, distribution is the queen. And we all know who actually runs the castle. See, inside of so many entrepreneurs, they try to create more content, more content, put it on more and more platforms. Really, the idea here and the concept that's going to allow you to be successful is about ensuring that your content is distributed to the right people. It's not just about creating more value. It's about distributing the value you have in an effective and efficient way. So that's the 11 things you need to know about lead generation right now. As an entrepreneur, if you do not have the ability to create intimate one-on-one -on -one relationships in a one-to-many way, by utilizing automated lead generation and ditching the referrals and the networking. If you wanna be able to play on a bigger level because deep down you know you're not playing big enough, 
then it's time to go from being the best kept secret to being the biggest name. It's not about the ego, it's about realizing that you're an expert in what you do and that you need to be able to impact more people than you are today. Not just because you want the abundance and freedom in your life, but because you know that you have a transformation that someone out there needs, they just don't know it yet. And if that's you, click below, take a look at the guide because I know that you're going to absolutely love this four step process that allows you to go from the biggest, or sorry, best cap secret to the biggest name. Scott Olford here and I'll see you next time. So if you enjoyed this content and you want more of it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And if you want other entrepreneurs just like you to be able to also access this information, this knowledge, make sure you go ahead and share it with someone that means the most to you. Remember, as entrepreneurs, it's our job to be able to help other entrepreneurs continue to elevate, allowing us to evolve society and evolve our world. I'll see you next time. Bye.